Welcome to the Divine Connection Podcast. I'm your host, Christina Roche, and together we are walking the path of discovering your true self and the alignment with your soul. Through these conversations, you will experience a deeper level of connection with yourself and the universe, and most importantly, you will trust in your spiritual journey ahead. Let's begin. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Divine Connection podcast. Today, we are talking about healing with the archangels. And what does that actually look like? How does that come about? And this was inspired by a question submitted by Abby. The question is, when on the healing journey, I know we have to do the healing ourselves, but how do the archangels support us when we ask for their support? I love this. And the first thing that I'll say, I'll kind of just share three key things and how, you know, it almost works as a step-by-step process. So the first thing is that when we're asking for the archangels to come in and clear out any energy, and this is especially the case if you are feeling a lot of heavy energy, like you're just holding on to so much heaviness, or you just feel yourself consumed in the energy of fear or anxiety or even anger or sadness or whatever the case is, you feel like you're consumed within this energetic space. What they'll do is that they'll come in and literally energetically, they'll clear out whatever is there, whatever is ready to be released, whatever is ready to be let go of. They'll also clear out any stagnant energy, anything that's ready to be released. So there's this understanding that when we are calling on the archangels and asking for their support, that is us using our free will and saying, yes, I'm ready to clear this out, to release this, come guide me, support me. And that's one of the most important things to know is that that is needed. We need to utilize our free will and invite them in because our free will is our free will. So Technically, if we say no, they have to obey our free will. So if we say no, I don't want your support, then as much as they want to support you, they're not going to. So that's the first thing to know is that when you're inviting them in, you're that's like the green light that says, yes, I'm here. I'm willing. Please guide me. Please support me. And so after they clear out that energy, our job is to then integrate that healing by shifting our mindset or our perspectives, as well as shifting our behavior. So this means that if you are asking to, you know, for support in healing, maybe a scarcity mindset or just this feeling of scarcity, this feeling of fear and anxiety. And so, you know, they come in, they support you, do an energy healing. Then your job from there is to focus on changing the thoughts that you're thinking by just proactively thinking the thoughts that are aligned with what you want to experience. So if you're going from scarcity to abundance, then your job is to now integrate that healing by focusing on the abundance and focusing on that abundance truth and the mindset associated with it, and then taking action and holding yourself in your power through that action so that your action is aligned with what you are desiring to create. Because otherwise, if we ask for that healing, but then we just revert back to thinking the same scarce thoughts and taking the same action or perhaps inaction, because that's oftentimes what happens, there's there's just no action that's taken when we're in scarcity, then it's just going to repeat the same cycle. And there's only so much that they can do. So our job is around our behavior and around what we're thinking, because that is fully in our control. And that is fully our responsibility, our behavior, our actions that we take, and the thoughts that we think are our responsibility. We have to take responsibility for those things. And so that's our part. And so if we don't take responsibility 
for changing our thoughts or changing our actions, then we're just going to be repeating the same cycle. So that's the first thing. The second way that they support us when we're asking for healing and when we're, you know, working with the archangels in that way to better ourselves, essentially, is that they will reveal to us truths about who we are, truths about our role, truths about who we're here to be, truths about our mission. And so our job is to then take that truth and and make decisions or, you know, pursue a path with trust. So that's the exchange. It's like, okay, here's a truth that's been revealed. Now, my part in it in order to fully integrate that healing that was just brought to me or, you know, the energy that was shown to me is to now trust in it and pursue it. And that's something that I always, always, always share when it comes to deepening our trust in ourselves, especially when it comes to our spiritual connection, when it comes to receiving intuitive guidance, that sort of a thing. One of the fastest ways that you are going to deepen your trust in yourself is when you receive a piece of guidance or some sort of information and you trust it and you roll with it and you do something with it. Whereas if we receive some sort of insight and then we're questioning it, we're overthinking it, we're just sitting with it, we're kind of like, yeah, let me just see what happens here, but not doing anything with it, then the trust doesn't have an opportunity to deepen because we haven't done anything with the information. Trust in ourselves deepens when we walk with faith. And that means that you're walking blindfolded, essentially, you're walking without the actual validation or confirmation of whatever that thing is, whatever the insight is, that's how, that's when you're walking with faith. And so when you do that and then the unfolding happens and then you see that everything worked out or that, that guidance was the thing and it was correct and it led you to the space and you're so grateful for being in the space, that right there, that experience is what deepens trust. So there's only so much you can do with your mindset and with your thoughts in order to trust more. Trust is something that is built through experience. And the only way that you're going to build experience is by making decisions and taking action and pursuing and taking risks and, you know, moving in some way, (laughs) in any direction, just moving instead of staying where you are. And so that is something another way that the archangels support us, you know, when we call on them for support, when we call on them to help us with our healing is whatever truth is revealed to us from their guidance, we then move in some way, whenever it's appropriate to it, you know, in alignment with that piece of guidance, we make decisions from that space, we commit to pursuing that truth or aligning with that truth or embodying that truth depends on the circumstance or the context specifically. But that's a way in which we can then further integrate their support. So as an example, when the archangels came to me back in 2016 and were like, this is who you are. You are a spiritual teacher. You are an angel channel. You are here to teach about the archangels. You are here to support people and living in their spiritual truth and greatest potential. All of this work that I've done since then, you know, my body of work that I've taught over the years, when they said that to me, when I had no idea, no expectation that that's what I was supposed to do, I had the opportunity to either say, okay, that's cool. And just sit with it and not move or to move. (laughs) And that was a truth that was revealed to me. And, and so in that, I had that opportunity to make that decision. And so I decided to switch my business, you know, within two weeks of that happening, I switched my business and I started to talk about angels and spirituality online. And as I say, the rest is history. And so, and so that was a way of me integrating their support and integrating what was revealed to me so that we can continue to do this and walk this path. And that trust has been deepened and developed a million times over since then. But that's just an example. So that's the second way. And then the third way 
is that the archangels, sometimes they come through or when we call on them to support us, they'll come through to mirror to us certain aspects of ourselves that maybe we are having a hard time connecting with. So for example, they'll come in and mirror to us courage or strength or love, compassion, joy, you know, whatever it is to kind of inspire that in within us. So it's not that when I'm needing some courage, it's not that I lack the courage. And so I need Archangel Michael to come in and give me courage. Like Archangel Michael, I need your courage right now so I can get through this. <laughs> it's not actually like that. Archangel Michael comes in and he's going to mirror to you as a way to help you to connect or he's, he's going to come in and inspire you to tap into your own courage. So he's not giving you anything that's outside of you. He's simply there as a mirror. He's showing you, look, remember, you are courageous. You are brave. Let's tap into that inside of you. He, it's like it's almost like in his presence, your inner courage gets drawn out without you realizing or expecting. It's like, okay, let's pull out your courage here. <laughs> you know, his presence, his frequency just does that. And so in it, our job is to receive that, accept that, like, oh, okay, I see my courage now. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Now I'm going to make go make my move. Now I'm going to move with it. Now I'm going to use that courage in whatever way I needed it for. So, so that's how they come in to support us as well, is that they will mirror to us or inspire us to connect with a certain frequency, a certain energy that may have been difficult to connect with before. So another example is compassion and Archangel Haniel comes in with that energy whenever we're doing any sort of inner healing work, when we're reflecting, when we're going inward, oftentimes we can maybe judge ourselves or feel like, oh, like I'm still here. <laughs> doing this inner work and, you know, and, and so she'll come in and she'll mirror to us compassion so that we can hold compassion for ourselves and in the moment release any guilt or shame around doing inner work and just saying, oh yeah, I hold myself in that compassion. And it, it reminds us, it's like it sparks a memory or sparks this, this essence of ourselves already to be held in that compassion. And of course, she holds that compassion too. So it's not that the archangels don't hold that, but it's really understanding that they provoke it out of you. <laughs> they provoke that same feeling and that essence from your own self. Because in them, and the, here's the thing with the archangels, is that when they come forward and they hold their beautiful divine frequency and energy, and we experience that energy around us, it activates that same energy inside of us. So that I think that's one of the most important points here is that we don't lack anything. It's just that sometimes we forget. We forget to be compassionate. We forget the love that we hold. We forget the courage that we hold. We forget these things. And so they inspire it out of us. They show us. They help us to remember. And so that right there, then we move with it. Okay. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, regardless of how you're calling on the archangels to support you or calling on that divine connection, the archangels are here to help us clear things out, to show us the pathway, to help activate and bring through the innate parts of ourselves that are already there. So they, 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 it's like they open up the energy for us. Like, okay, you've been feeling a little bit stuck. You've forgotten a little bit here. Let me come here, open up that energy for you. However, it's still up to us to decide to walk down that path. So they won't force us to walk down a path and they, there's no, nothing that they'll do to, you know, like they, they can, and it's not that they don't want to, it's just that it's part of our development. It's part of what we have signed up for. It's part of this rather than it, like, I'm going to hand you this thing. Instead, it's, I'm going to become the version of myself who already holds that thing. And so that's the key with this work with the archangels 
and calling on them to support us and, and, and understanding how they are here to support us. So it's not that when you are asking for a solution or maybe you're asking for abundance or maybe you're asking for a healing, like you're asking for health and vitality, and it's not that they don't want to give it to you. It's that it's it's that their guidance, the way it comes through, it's to teach you and help you to understand how to tap into it to yourself and how to bring that forward and to bring through the lessons and the strength and the courage and the love and the compassion and every, anything else and everything about you, who you are, because that's who you are. But if they do it for you, then we're not going to learn. And <laughs> then we're going to end up in the same spiral again. So. I hope that helps. I can't wait to hear how this episode resonated with you. So let me know if you're watching me on YouTube, let me know in the comments, which one of these maybe was surprising to you or stood out to you, or maybe gave you greater clarity. Let me know. And if you're watching me on the podcast, or I should say listening to me on the podcast, then send me a DM on Instagram at Christina Roche. Let me know how this episode landed with you. If you want to submit your own question, you can do so at christinaroche.com forward slash ask dash Christina. And if you have not downloaded my free guided meditation yet, come and join me. This is a meditation to meet your angels. And I love it so much. It's so powerful. It's so beautiful. You can download it at the link in the show notes. So all the links are in the show notes, everything that you need, go check them out. And that's it. So I'm sending you so much love and angel blessings, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. And if you want to learn more about the Divine Connection podcast, you can go to christinaaroche.com forward slash podcast and learn about how you can be featured on the show. 